Okay, we, uh, we got cut off a little bit for a few seconds off of that last one. And so what I was talking about was this um, display here. So these pads, there's two ways that you could set this machine up. Uh, right now it's set up that it will match the, the width of the panel to moving into the machine. So whatever panel we put in, there's sensors there that will pick up the width of that panel and only the pads in the path of that panel will come down. And we can adjust that. Here we can, we can add one or two extra pads. So if I want more pressure on the outside edge of the panel, I can just put one or two in here and it actually will bring down one or two extra pads. I can also put a negative number in here. I can put negative one or negative two and these two pads on the outside edge would disappear. Um, so it allows you to actually what this is for is if your panels are slightly warped, um, it allows you to reduce or increase the, the pressure on the outside edges of the panel to minimize the chance of sanding through. It's a really great feature um, and it works really well uh, for the most part. Um, so it's something that you really have to get on and play around with it to, uh, to find out exactly how it works. Let's move forward there one more. Um, and I think we'll just keep going, so I've already explained a lot of this stuff already. And keep going. There we go. So, um, on that um, sander, there's um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things about that machine that a lot of people don't necessarily understand. They've been taught how to turn the machine on, push a button and raise and lower the table. But to set it up and fine-tune that machine, there's a lot more into it. Uh, next year in our production equipment class, I will be working with closer with you on a one-to-one -one or in a small group uh, to give you much more information about just how this sander actually works and the best way to set it up. There is other technology available on these sanders. They've, they've gotten, gotten to be uh, fairly complex. Uh, so these sanders are also manufactured with multi-head configurations with cross belts. Uh, pressure segment belts on cross sanding machines and that pressure segment belt it's an extension of um, what, they've, what they've done is they've uh, included a almost like a stroke sander tied in with the white belt sander and that pressure segment belt is there to add a little bit more cushion and a little bit more control on the, on the pressure pads. Individual pneumatic pressure pads we have that on this machine um, if we could back that slide up just one each one of these pads that you see across the bottom has an individual air cylinder on it and it allows you to control the pressure um, on those pads. So um, that's where, when I say controlling, your plus or minus in this area here will allow you to, that's how much control that you have. And if you can move that back forward. Magnetic pressure beams is, is a new technology. It came out, uh, some of the German companies uh, Heisman is using this. Um, they're supposed to be much more accurate than using air pressure. They're using magnetic pressure beams. So I don't know a whole lot about them. I'm aware of them. But um, um, what I was told, I did a, I stopped into one of the, the booths there last fall and I was talking to the sales rep and he was explaining to me how they have much better control using these magnetic beams as compared to using air. Uh, 3D scanners um, can be used and they assist with the setup of the table uh, so they can measure the size of the panel before it goes in and it takes away the, the Otis away from the operator they no longer have to calibrate their lumber before they put it in and vacuum tables on this machine we do not have a vacuum table um, I kind of wish we did because that vacuum table helps to hold the panel down um, whereas we have panels that slip on that table because the, the, the rubber on that feed roller gets hard as it gets old and it makes it difficult to feed your panels in. They tend to want to slip because it this gets hard and brittle and doesn't grab the panel. Those vacuum tables are designed to grab your panel and actually pull it through the machine. Okay, so one last thing that I want to talk about before we move forward and um, I think Maybe we will. Maybe we'll go forward and I'll talk about it in the next video. And that is your, your belts.